In November 2014, Airbus introduced the world to a brand new wide-body jet. It was their A330neo, a revamped version of the company's heritage A330. However, being designed on an airframe from the late 90s, the A330neo has no real shot of matching the 787's efficiency. Want to know about it? Well, stay tuned to the video and watch the video till the end. Hey guys, welcome back to Aviation News for another exciting video. If you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to get new updates on aviation. And in today's video, we're going to talk about why the A330neo is dead on the market. So without any further ado, let's begin. The Airbus A330 is an adaptable aircraft first introduced with Air Inter in 1994. Since then, it has been a great alternative among airlines for short to long haul routes. To carry on the inheritance of the family, Airbus introduced the A330neo program and in the 2014 Farnborough Air Show, it consists of two models, the 900neos and the 800neos. If we look at the creation of the A330 brood, you can clearly see it is similar to that of the A340 but with a twin jet. This is because both the airliners were being developed similarly at the same time. While the A340 was designed to develop exclusively for long-haul destinations similar to Boeing, the 767 was meant for medium to long-haul destinations, while the 777 for long-haul destinations. Anyways, let's answer our first question. Why did Airbus make the Airbus A330 800 Neo? The story starts back in 2004 with the launch of the Boeing 787 and its overnight success. Airbus was a little worried for their future with no other plans to blast off a new wide body apart from the A380. Fortunately, that idea was highly doubted by airlines. This led to the creation of the Airbus A350 program and also the termination of the re-engineered A330 program. In 2010, Airbus launched the A320neo which was a huge success for Airbus and was a big failure for Boeing because customers with 737 orders were now switching them to airlines like AirAsia and TAP encouraged Airbus to create a re-engine variant for the A330. This as well as AirAsia X seized operations in London back in 2014. This was mainly because of the non-efficient A340 that was the main reason why AirAsia wanted a re-engined A330. To restart their operations to profitable routes, eventually Airbus had to listen to market needs and they launched the A330neo program at the 2014 Farnborough Airshow 20 years after the first A330 came into assistance. The two variants, 800 and 900, were based on their prototype 200 and 300 respectively. But Airbus specifically made the 800 as a medium-haul airplane suitable for under-reserved destinations. For example, Air Greenland chose the 800 over the 900 because the destinations were not far away. Now that we know why the A330 to 800 Neo was created, we shall move on to answer our second question. Why airlines are not willing to order that type? If we look more carefully, the 900neo is quite familiar to the 800neo. However, the 900 has 58 additional seats with a decrease in range by 950 nautical miles in a typical three-class layout. It can seat up to 460 passengers in an all-economy cabin. This is where the Dash 800 is less preferred if we take a careful look at the A330neo customers. Most airplanes already have other long-haul options like the A350 and 787 fleets, hence ordering the 800 only on the basis of the increased range is foolish. However, we can also see airlines like Garuda Indonesia and Kuwait Airways order the 800 types even while having the 777 as an alternative long-haul aircraft. This is mainly because of the geographical location of carriers' hub airports. Garuda Indonesia can wisely use their 800s on South Asian under-reserved destinations, while Kuwait Airways can do the same by flying them to India, Africa and under-reserved cities of Europe. If we aggregate it up, the 800neo is highly unpopular among aircrafts because of two reasons. First, it only gives a slight boost in range while a huge decrease in passenger and cargo capacity. Secondly, airlines won't have a suitable route for the types of existing long-haul airliners like A350, 787 and 777. Now, let's answer our final question. Which airlines should consider ordering? 
The type, even though the 800 is not a breakthrough, there are few airlines that should really consider ordering the type on our list, are two of them. Number one, and the most suitable airline for this type, is Air Serbia. It's the flag carrier of Serbia and also operates the only long-haul route from Serbia, which is from Belgrade to New York. The aircraft used in this route is 12.5 years old, at 332. We all know that the Dash 800 Neo is the most accurate replacement of the older Dash 200 variant, with slight increased capacity and range from the predecessor Air Serbia can make the most out of this type if they replace their older variant with the 800 Neo. Number 2 Airline on our list is Oman Air. The airline already operates 10 A330s, of which 6 are parked due to Covid times. Oman Air also operates 9787s, with 6 more on order. If you look at the route network of Oman Air, many cities can be served efficiently with the type even with the 787 is in their fleet, however 10 years is pretty less for an aircraft. What do you think about the Airbus A330 800 Neo? Will it be able to gain more orders or will Airbus just discontinue the type? Let me know in the comment section down below.